Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a simple linear regression on a preloaded data set in R. Okay, if you're having problems seeing the text, make sure you're in the high res uh, mode in on the video. Okay, so the data we're going to look at is can be loaded with data, cars, and the cars data set, let's take a quick look at it, just has two variables, speed and distance. Now, very quickly, we want to use speed to predict distance. That's stopping distance. And these are cars, obviously. So the first model I'm going to call M1. And I use the LM, okay, linear model. Now I want to predict distance with speed. And my data set is cars. Okay? So we could quickly take a look at M1, and we see that it is a simple linear regression. And here are our coefficients. As you can see, it's a significant coefficient. But so uh, there is a positive relationship it seems but let's also plot the scatter plot so by the way r square is down here okay of course there's a lot of else going on including the individual t tests right the overall f test here's the p value adjusted r square the coefficients of course i just talked about Okay, and just some summaries of the residuals, right? All of which are important and things which I uh, I have either gone through in more detail in other tutorial videos or intend on doing soon. But let's quickly create a scatter plot so we can also plot this line on top of it. So let's plot cars. Uh, actually, want to distance is our y variable, right? Okay. And let's overlay the the simple linear regression line we just got. And let's play around with the L. Let's make it a dotted line and make color red. And there we go. That's the line that we just computed here using least squares regression and overlaid on top of the scatter plot. Now, very quickly, actually, probably prior to creating the model, you might want to add a low S, a smooth line. So, a low S curve you can be done like this. I actually uh, should make a video on just creating low S curves because it is uh, a little much to do all this if it's just the first time that you're seeing all this so this adds a low S curve and the low S curve kind of suggests to us that we might want to look into a quadratic uh, regression a polynomial regression of uh, order 2 and I'm gonna do that in uh, the next video so be sure to check that one out so I hope this was a little helpful very quick of course but that was the intention at least it gets you up and moving with a small data set that uh, pretty much hits the basics of uh, starting out with uh, uh, linear models in R. So, till next time, check out my other R tutorial videos on my channel and uh, other Excel, statistics, math, access, and so forth videos. Alright, next time, have a great day.